What is going on everybody? Today I will be previewing the 2024 college football schedule for Wake Forest. I will go through every game on their schedule and I will predict which games on the schedule I think they will win and I will also predict which games on the schedule I think they will lose. But as always before we preview their schedule let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football then you will love this channel because we upload a ton of college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing and also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Last season, Wake Forest finished with a 4-8 record. They finished last in the ACC and they also finished near the bottom of the ACC in scoring offense and scoring defense. It was the worst finish to a season for Wake Forest since 2015. Dave Clawson has led Wake Forest to 6 winning seasons since 2016 so it was definitely a down year for Wake Forest. But heading into next season, Wake Forest will have a lot to clean up if they want to win games because they only had one win in ACC Conference play last season. But Wake Forest brings in new quarterback Hank Bashmeyer from Louisiana Tech out of the chance for portal. Hank Bashmeyer threw for over 2,000 yards, 10 touchdowns to only 5 interceptions last season starting for Louisiana Tech. They also returned their number one running back Desmond Claiborne and receivers Taylor Morin and Donovan Green. They returned 74% of production on defense, which is top 15 in the country. I do not have high expectations for Wake Forest next season because they don't have a lot of positives going forward for them, but they do have potential with new quarterback Hank Bashmeyer, and the defense could also be decent. But anyways, let's get into predicting their schedule, and they open the season playing at home against North Carolina A&T. North Carolina A&T is a pretty bad FCS school. They actually went 1-10 last season, and Wake Forest should definitely win this game. Nothing much to say about this game, and I definitely have Wake Forest winning their home opener and move it to 1-0 on the season. The next game for Wake Forest is at home against Virginia. I could see this game going either way. Both these teams finished near the bottom of the ACC last season, but Virginia was actually the more competitive team in my opinion. They beat North Carolina and Duke despite going 3-9, but also 4 of their losses came by 3 points or less, and they also only lost to a solid Louisville team by only 7 points. They had a pretty difficult schedule last season, but I think Virginia has potential to make a bowl game next season if they find ways to win the closer games. They returned 76% of production, which is top 5 in the country. Virginia also did a solid job in the transfer portal, bringing in 11 players and 3 very solid receivers. I think Virginia is honestly going to be the better team next season, and I do have Wake Forest losing this game at home and move it to 1-1 one one on the season. The next game for Wake Forest is at home against Ole Miss. Ole Miss is likely going to be a top 10 team. They went 11-2 last season and they returned their top offensive stars including Jackson Dart at quarterback who was one of the top quarterbacks in college football. And Ole Miss upgraded even more through the transfer portal with new additions like Juice Wells at receiver and even on the defensive side with Walter Nolan and Princely Uman who are both massive pickups. They have the number one transfer portal class in the country and they are going to be a very scary team next season. Wake Forest does not stand a chance in this game and I definitely have Wake Forest losing this game at home and move it to 1-2 on the season. Following their game against Ole Miss, Wake Forest will have a bye week, and then they play at home against Louisiana. I expect Louisiana to actually be a solid group of 5 team. They hardly lost any players or anybody in the coaching staff. They should have a strong offense, and they also have a defense that has potential to improve even more with some of the transfer portal additions. Louisiana only went 6-7 and seven last season, but Louisiana is always a tough group of 5 opponent to face and 5 of their 7 losses came by 7 points or less last season. I only expect them to get better with all of the positives that they have heading forward, but I think this is a game that Wake Forest will really want to win, and they have this game at home following a bye week, so I am going to say Wake Forest wins a close game at home, and I have Wake Forest move it to 2-2 two and two on the season. But this is definitely a 50-50 game to me. The next game for Wake Forest is on the road against NC State. I am very high on NC State, and I think that they are set up to have a fantastic season in 2024. And honestly, I would say they are a legitimate contender for the ACC championship, and I would not be surprised if they did win the ACC. The offense has so much potential with Grayson McCall at quarterback, and the offense is kind of underrated in my opinion. The defense was solid last season, but they do lose Peyton Wilson, so we'll see how the defense looks. But over the last couple of seasons, the defense has actually been really consistently good. So I do expect NC State to be a really good team in 2024. And I definitely have Wake Forest losing to NC State on the road and move it to 2-3 and three on the season. The next game for Wake Forest is at home against Clemson. Clemson should be a very solid team. 
The defense should be one of the best in the ACC, and there's no doubt about that. But the offense will have to step up with Cade Klubnik at quarterback if they want to actually win the ACC again. I'm personally not as high in Clemson as I am some of the other top teams in the ACC, but Wake Forest shouldn't be that great, and I definitely think Wake Forest should lose this game. So I have Wake Forest move it to 2-4 and four on the season. The next game of the season for Wake Forest is on the road against UConn. UConn hasn't had a winning season since 2010, and they only went 3-9 and nine last season. This could possibly be a sneaky game since it is on the road, and UConn actually gave Boston College trouble last season, but I'm going to say Wake Forest will definitely win this game, so I have Wake Forest move it to 3-4 and four on the season. The next game for Wake Forest is on the road against Stanford. Stanford has not had the same amount of success as of lately as they used to have. They went 3-9 and nine the past three seasons, and they just don't have a lot of positives heading forward for them. The defense gave up 37 points a game last season, and I do not expect them to be much better in 2024. They do return Ashton Daniels and Alik Ayo Manor on the offensive side, so the offense does have some upside and they will be fun to watch, but overall I expect Stanford to be one of the worst teams in the ACC. I could see this game going either way, but I think Wake Forest has the advantage on defense, and they should be the better team in my opinion. So I do have Wake Forest to win in this game on the road and move it to 4-4 four and four on the season. Following the game against Stanford, Wake Forest will have a bye week, and then they play California at home. I think California is actually an underrated team heading into the ACC. They only won 6 games last season, but regardless, they are trending up. They return a lot of production from last season, including one of the best running backs in the country, Jaden Ott. They also did a very good job in the transfer portal, and they have the 4th best transfer portal class in the ACC. They are going to have a very good offense again, and I do expect the offense to be even more explosive in 2024. With new additions like Mikey Matthews from Utah and Tobias Merriweather from Notre Dame, I do think this is a winnable game for Wake Forest because they will have the big home field advantage in this game. But I do like this California team, and I do think Wake Forest will lose this game, so I have Wake Forest move it to 4-5 and five on the season. The next game for Wake Forest is on the road against North Carolina. North Carolina ranks near the bottom of the country for return in production, and I don't think they are going to be much better than a bowl-eligible team next season. I know that they return Amari on Hampton at running back and they bring in Max Johnson who could be a solid quarterback, but I'm just not very high on this team anymore. They lose quarterback Drake May and Mac Brown is kind of at the end of the road in his coaching career in my opinion. I expect them to take a step down without Drake May and they don't have a great defense, but regardless North Carolina will have this game at home. North Carolina should have a solid offense. And Wake Forest is just not a super talented team, so I do think Wake Forest will also lose this game and I have Wake Forest move it to 4-6 and six on the season. The next game for Wake Forest is on the road against Miami. Again, I do not expect Wake Forest to win this game. Miami should be the much better team, and they should win this game as long as Mario Cristobal doesn't choke. But Miami is going to have a very talented roster, and they probably have the best quarterback in the ACC, who is Cam Ward. I don't see a world where Miami doesn't continue to get better with all of the talent and the top recruiting classes that Mario Cristobal continues to bring in. Miami also has this game at home, so Wake Forest should definitely lose this game on the road. So I do have Wake Forest drop in this game and move it to 4-7 and seven on the season. And the last game of the season for Wake Forest is at home against Duke. Duke is a team that I kind of have to wait and see with. I think that Manny Diaz was a decent pickup at head coach. Duke has a lot of potential. I know they lose their head coach and they lose Riley Littard. But Malik Murphy is a four-star quarterback with a lot of potential. And he did step up for Texas when Quinn Ewers got hurt last season. And I expect Duke to be a solid team and the defense should be solid again. But again, I kind of have to wait and see with this team because I have a lot of questions more specifically on the offensive side and they also have a new head coach. But I do think Wake Forest will lose this game against Duke. So I do have Wake Forest finishing the season with a 1-7 and conference record and a 4-8 and overall record. And yes, I do have them having the same season as they did in 2023. I'm just not very high in Wake Forest like I am some of the other teams in the ACC. And I do expect Wake Forest to be one of the worst teams in the ACC. But you guys let me know how many games you think Wake Forest will win in 2024 down in the comments below. But that is going to do it for today's video. Let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football then you'll love this channel. Because we upload a ton of college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing and also consider joining my discord server down in the description below. But that is going to do it guys and peace out.